So guys, last week's winner is gonna show up on our screen right here. And if you are the lucky winner, don't forget to email us and we'll get back with you and get a time set up that's convenient for you to have a, that phone call. So for all of you making comments, we're going to uh, have a drawing based upon all of those. For the lucky winner, they're gonna get a, a time on the phone with me to talk about their real estate transactions they're doing. Uh, it might wind up being a 15, 30 minute, maybe even a little bit longer phone call for you guys. So take the time and please comment for us. We appreciate doing that for you. and look forward to getting a chance to talk to one of you lucky people out there to get that time on the phone with me. So guys, this is just gonna be touching base on prepayment penalties. I hope you find it helpful. If you do, take a minute and like the video. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel and take a moment, if you have any comments, take a minute and comment below. We'll do our best to answer those for you. Now, first and foremost, you need to be thinking about Dodd-Frank. And are you actually under the Dodd-Frank Act or not? And what Dodd-Frank says, I believe, is that you have to do five or more, trans or more than five transactions in a 12-month period to be under that regulation. Now, one thing that you always hear uh, us talk about is even though you may not be under the regulation per se, it is always a smart thing to adhere to it the best way you can. It just prevents problems down the road. It's one of the things that you need to be thinking about as you're making decisions. Now, on prepayment penalties, I understand that there's a time and place for all these things, but a lot of investors, they just don't want to have to recreate the deal in the event the, the borrower you know, should sell the property or refinance. And one of the things that I've learned in my career is that our owner finance borrowers rarely sell the homes uh, quickly and they rarely refinance. And so it may be problematic just when you think about things in that context. But with the prepayment penalty, if you are into the high priced loan category or the high cost loan category, excuse me, of Dodd-Frank, uh, prepayment penalties are prohibited. If you are in a high price category, I believe, you can charge a reasonable prepayment penalty up to, but not to exceed 3%. And it needs to be for a reasonable time frame, such as, let's say, three years. So one of the things I perceive that you find in Dodd-Frank is this constant use of reasonableness. You know, Dodd-Frank says that we are to consider and verify a borrower's financial information in making the decision on their ability to repay the loan. Again, it's a reasonableness standard. It's not like big banks who are under, let's say, a 43% debt to income uh, ratio max guideline. We investors, we call ourselves small creditors, are not under the guideline. It's a this reasonableness guideline. And so I always urge you as you're making considerations about things like a prepayment penalty, be reasonable. Even though you may not be under the Dodd-Frank Act, still be reasonable. Think about really how that looks to your, 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 your buyer who's buying the home that you're trying to sell to. And do you really need that prepayment penalty or not? So when you're considering a prepayment penalty to be part of your loan, remember that, that, that percentage, that 1%, 2%, 3% penalty is based on the loan balance at the time of the, the payment. So you ask yourself oftentimes when you're considering doing this, why do I need a prepayment penalty? And again, I think I said earlier that a lot of investors, they just don't want to have to recreate the wheel, resell the property, and that if the buyer should sell the home, they're going to get some fee uh, for having either the loan paid off or sold and for losing all this potential future interest that we're all in this game to collect down the road. But once again, as I said, most of our borrowers in this sphere, they don't typically refinance or sell a home for many, many, many years, if at all, along the way. But it is a tool to be considered and to be thought about. But as you're thinking about that, just think about the, what the thought process is of your borrower when you're presenting that to them. Is that gonna hurt your marketing uh, with your borrower out there or, or not? And of course, there's no right or wrong answer there. 
But always use a reasonable standard when you're looking at your prepayment penalty and think through those factors along the way. I hope this helps you out in kind of navigating that decision process for the prepayment penalty, what to be looking at and considering as you do so. So guys, I hope you found this video helpful and insightful as prepayment penalties briefly. We look forward to helping out in more uh, videos like this. If you found it helpful, don't forget to like the video, subscribe to our YouTube channel, and again, make any comments below. And remember, those comments are also going to be part of the future drawing for that phone call.